maybe five months ago. Uh, this budget we're about to present have all taken place before arrival. Uh, next year budget, we will start early to see what difference we can make. Uh, especially if we really believe that tourism is the way to go. And if tourism will help to in the diversification of our our economy, which we have all agreed we must do. So it's, it's a must do, because it's obvious that all year can no longer meet our need, our yearnings for the development of our nation. We have made comparisons with countries like uh, UAE and China, Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, and many countries. And we saw how they're making, doing well with their tourism. And we have more natural tourism than most places in the world. So it's a must do, gentlemen. I we must start it now and make sure we we'll hand over to subsequent generations something worthy to be remembered. And if we continue this way, I, I, I do not see light at the dark end of the tunnel. Um, you agree with me that uh, the budget of this year it will be worse than the one of last year. The one of last year is worse than the one of previous year, and the one of this year will not. It's not better than the one of. So we are doing them, and uh, and when we talk about giving somebody. 50, 100, uh, I mean, uh, 1 billion naira. We think we are going to invest 1 billion naira. In actual sense, if you look at the exchange rate uh, 20 years ago, you know how much we are getting now. So, um, we're, we're not, we're, I don't say we are doing well in tourism. It's something that we must uh, give attention. And uh, we'll ne next year, we we'll, shall we'll beckon on the federal government uh, to look seriously into the budget provision for the Department of, of Tourism. Because it is very, very key. Uh, good soup, na uh, money maker. So uh, if, if we go and put uh, 100 million, 200 million in tourism, at, at best, I think we're just uh, indicating our seriousness about the whole thing. So if we want to make tourism and, uh, a, a means of livelihood for Nigerians and to create jobs and uh, uh, create uh, revenue, they will must fund it. We must make it uh, a business. Um, and for those of you who are the, the drivers of this sector of our economy, uh, you must also uh, sit up and do your utmost best. Some of you look like you, you are demoralized already. Some of you, uh, some of you uh, try to, 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 to portray the image of hopelessness because of the posts you have. So some of you are coming here for mere academic exercise to fulfill all righteousness. Uh, but that's not good for us. Uh, we, should, we should begin to think uh, outside the box. I've engaged your minister one-on-one. -on -one. There's no, why we blame or request the federal government to do something? We also have responsibilities ourselves. Uh, there's nothing as good as starting. If you have one other, start somehow, start. So we, we, we I had the uh, challenge your uh, minister when he, he mentioned all the difficulties he's been facing, and I quite agree with him. How would you have tourism where insecurity is uh, thriving day by day, infrastructure is not there, and uh, no funding? So, uh, but I challenge him to say, listen, listen. And what rules uh, 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 the world is ideas, not money. So, first of all, the ideas must be right. The vision must be right. And I challenge all of you to provide the right, right vision, especially the executive arm of government, to, to start driving and encouraging tourism in this uh, country. Um, my Bible tells me that uh, where there's no vision, the people perish. It didn't say where there's no money. So money is inconsequential when it comes to ideas. So one of the things I challenge you, uh, the Honorable Minister, is to say, listen, okay, we don't have money. Let's do this something. Let's think outside the box. I say, right now, uh, we, we, our, our, our music industry is becoming the best in the world. Could we set up a day in 2020, collectively by all the Department of Tourism, and then start showcasing what we have, first to the world? I will have a uh, Meet Mr. President program by all the, the artists, all the musicians. Uh, all the likes of uh, Whiskey, Davido, and all these boys that pull millions of crowds.
scholarship in social media all over Africa and all over the world. I said they have a one big show in Nigeria. I will start advertising it. I will say, okay, listen, let's get it done. As I'm talking to you now, no money is involved. It's only a letter from the Honorable Minister of Information and Department to say, listen, we're, we're inviting you for an award or for a handshake with Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And we we'll dress up Mr. President in, in jeans that day with black goggles, looking, looking cured. And he goes to the stadium, and all these boys are here. Do you know how many people will come from Ghana? Do you know how many people will come from uh, South Africa, or Kenya, or Mali, to witness this event? We'll have nothing less than 100,000 people wanting to see their fan perform live and make it look competitive. What happens then? Each of these people will come with at least $5,000. When they come to Nigeria, they will buy biscuits, they will buy the charge card, they will stay in a hotel, they will take transportation. Then you have brought into your country millions of, of dollars. I said, that is the way to start. So can, when the money comes, we can appeal to federal government. Whatever is realized from that, allow us to use it back in the, in, in the tourism department. Use what you have. And if we do it, Abuja, those people will not care whether there's any, any insecurity or not. They will come. They will come. After all, in America, there's psycho killing. Uh, everywhere in the world now, there's insecurity. There's no safe place. So we can start. Let's not discourage ourselves. But we can make money. So I challenge you, uh, PAMSEC, I mean, directors now, directly to you. To be a director is ability to direct affairs that can bring money, not ability to direct affairs that will consume money. Uh, Taoko, I've engaged him too, and all these people. So all you need is a small encouragement. Some of them is just a mere letter or something to let you do that. So we have this program. We have all agreed. It doesn't require budget. Let's use it to try ourselves by using what we have. The next one is to showcase our, our movie stars. It's another thing that we want to see. That's what we have already. We don't have the waterfalls. We don't have this. But let's start from what we have. And uh, we talked about the, the royal colors of, um, of um, uh, traditional rulers to, to, as a program too. So we can start with some few programs until such money is coming. Well, my, my, the essence of my brief is to tell you that I understand your pains and the challenges of lack of money in this budget. We'll do our best next year to see what we can do because it's quite late. We're giving only 5% up or down. So for me, it is a very tight budget. So once more, you are most welcome. And I pray God Almighty to guide all of us and bless all of us and show us the way through to this our challenging time. God bless all of you. Uh, Honorable Minister, I'm getting, uh, do, do you have your, um, your uh, presentation? We're supposed to have brought you your papers before now. But I'm told before then, let me allow my Vice Chairman, uh, His Excellency, to please introduce himself.